it used to be that employers thought that health was something that employees either had or didn't have. And the problem with it was if you didn't have it, people were absent, they were expensive, or they were simply not as productive as they were hoping that employees would be. Today, employers are starting to realize that there is a positive side of health and that it's not just about whether an employee is absent or not. It's about whether an employee is fully productive, maximally innovative, has a lot of energy to bring to the job. You know, people who are healthy, vibrantly healthy, who exercise, make better and faster decisions. They're easier to be around. They're better team players. They make fewer mistakes. So employers are starting to see healthy employees as a competitive business strategy, not just an expense or a problem to be managed and controlled. What keeps the C-suite up at night is not knowing whether they're getting a positive return on their investment in employee health. The one way they look at it is whether or not healthcare costs are coming down or at least not going up as quickly as they would have otherwise. But that's only the short end of the impact that positive health can have on a company's financial statement. At least very few people are able to give the C-suite the math or the business case that allows them to be comfortable in making their investment and to be satisfied that they're getting a positive return and it really is driving their growth and profits. Actuaries have this unique ability to combine their mathematical skills with modeling scenarios for the future. And an ROI question is exactly that kind of problem. It requires you to project not only what the costs might have been, but for the changes in behavior and as a result health, but also what the financial value of those changes are. How, for example, do you quantify the extra stamina or the improved decision making that comes from employees who are fit? And actuaries have spent 200 years now considering the problem of how to measure risk and how to make predictions based on these measurements. It's a skill that hasn't yet been applied very much to the positive side of the question of what's the return on investment in employee health. An actuary can play the vital role of ranking for an employer or for a CEO those things in wellness that are likely to have the biggest effect sustainably in the shortest amount of time. And although everyone's clear that healthcare reform is required and our system is broken in many ways, still the point of all of this is to get people healthy because healthy people drive profitable companies.